Hi, it's Joanna here. I have a question for you. On the count of three, I want you to tell me the person that you know the best. Ready? One, two, three. Who'd you come up with? Did you say your spouse? Maybe your child, a friend, a coworker, a family member? What I really hope you said is me, or rather yourself, that you know yourself the best because we should be experts on ourselves. But that's kind of hard, right? It's hard to actually know yourself because we can sometimes just go through life on autopilot. We can just get up every day and do the same things and do we really know ourselves? Or we end up comparing ourselves to other people or we remember what we used to be like in the past. And that's not necessarily who we are today because we're always growing and changing. We're becoming a newer version of ourselves all the time. And so how do we actually do that? How do we learn to know ourselves best? How do we learn to know ourselves in light of what scripture teaches or what God wants us to know about ourselves? Next Wednesday on August 21st at 6.30, I am teaching a class on the Enneagram. The what? The Enneagram. So maybe you're familiar with that. Maybe you know what that means, or maybe you have never heard that word before and you think that that's just some crazy mumbo jumbo. But really, the Enneagram is an ancient personality profile. It's a framework to help us know ourselves. So the Enneagram identifies nine personalities that we all fall into and they help us understand some nuances about some patterns that we use, how we are motivated to do things, maybe some blind spots, some things that we struggle with, and how we can become more self-aware, know ourselves more, and be able to live out a better version of ourself, one that is more how God created us to be. Psalm 139 says that we are intricately woven together. And so that intricacy, that takes time and effort, and it really does take some internal work and some processes. Over the last about year and a half, I've really kind of learned about the Enneagram and studied for myself and what I found is really helpful to me. And I wanted to be able to share that with anyone else that might be interested. I am by no means an expert in this. People have been studying the Enneagram for centuries. And over the last like 70 years, there's been a ton of people that have done work within the framework of the church and how how do we really learn what we can do to become a better version of ourselves? So if you love personality profiles, if you know your love language or your Myers-Briggs um, personality and you think that that is super cool, then I would encourage you to come to this class. If you just are feeling like, you know, I kind of feel like I want to be able to piece together more of myself and understand maybe why I do some things or why is it that I've got these habits or routines that I do and I don't always understand what's going on, then this is also another great class. Or maybe you've like seen a little bit or read a short article about it, but you wanna really know more, then come on Wednesday the 21st. It's gonna be in Montgomery at Walden Community Church at 6.30 and we would love to have